today we're going to be replacing hopefully see that little t right there that comes out of that uh, that's the oil filter housing i don't know if you can see in here but right below that that yellow that's the oil filter we'll be replacing the o-ring oh that turbo is hot the o-ring that goes right there the o-ring that goes over here and there's an o-ring that goes right here where the oil filter housing is and i think that's where the leak's coming from so hopefully we can get this sucker off it is in there tight and i bought these little wrenches at lowe's that go onto a ratchet so maybe it'll make it to where i can get in there a little easier and then right here here's my o-rings so i already know that this is a 13 16 let's try putting it on here first there it is Oh, there it goes and that's all I got so now what I can't believe that worked so let's see if we can get this the rest of the way off and if I can keep my big head out of the picture see you now something like this would charge you thousands of dollars because they would have to take apart everything they'd tear apart all this I guarantee you but that's what the book calls for you gotta go buy the book and if they finish the job in five hours but the book calls for seven you're getting charged seven hours at least whenever i was working for way back in the day that's the way it was oh this is fun <laughs> this is absolutely exhilarating i wonder if i can spin that by hand i highly doubt it but we will give it a shot no I mean, I can't even get my hand in there. <sighs> Maybe some pliers. Let's give these needle nose pliers a shot, boys. You never know. Man, it's just so tight in there. It's like no room. Yep, I can't even, nothing. This is something. Well, let's see, let's just make sure before I pull this off that I can get the other side off. I think I'm gonna need a longer extension for that side. Okay, so let's put this bad boy on there. And this time, since we're working on the other side, we're gonna go clockwise on this side. Come on. <sighs> this is not easy. This is not easy at all. <clears throat> oh wait. Dang it, I was going the wrong way. Great, I just tightened it. Let's go up with it. <clears throat> we need an extension, this ought to work. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> you stupid light. It wouldn't let me have my moment. I can't believe this is working. This is amazing. I've been putting this off for a long, long time just because I didn't want to do it. Because, like, that's in a tough spot. That's in a real tough spot. We're getting her, boys. Oh, I can do it by hand now. Nice. Give y'all a little better view of the action. Look at that shot, boys. I've come a long ways. Y'all can actually see some stuff now. Oh, this is this is magical. This is amazing. Wait, am I going the right way? Now is it gonna go back on there? Yep. We'll get her all cleaned up after we're done with it. That way we can see if any more oil leaks out of there. You know? I think it's almost off of there. Oh, she's off. Here's how that looks. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this one the rest of the way. You have to finesse it, boys. You have to finesse it. Oh, man. I got to dry off my hands. That oil is slick. There's some better lighting down here, man. This lighting sucks. This is crazy that this actually works. Oh, she's really loose now. sucks i can hardly turn it until it's like really loose there it is so now we gotta take the t off we'll dig out the o-rings from the t 
slap a new one on there. Well, put the O-rings back on, the new ones back on, and bam, we'll be, we'll be good to go. So now let's see if we can get this. I don't know what size it is back here. Not a lot of room either. Yep, that's 13 sixteenths. Well, that's not the side we needed to start on. Get off of there. Let's try it over here. Oh, I gotta climb under the damn truck. Oh, why you gotta be so far under there? The ground's all wet. Come on. I'm getting the broom out for this. There we go. Let's try this again. There we go. There's where we need it. Uh, we're cooking now. There went my light. Damn it. This light is frustrating. Better stay there. Uh oh. We got a lot of oil leaking. Time to bust out the kitty litter, boys. I didn't know it was going to be leaking. And just like that, everything fell to pieces, which is the story of my life. We're going to get this son of a bitch, though. The wrench, it fell out of sight somewhere into the abyss, and I can't find it. We got oil on the ground, and uh, it's raining now. So, uh... <laughs> All right, boys, well, we're back at it. We finally found the piece buried in the frame. It stopped raining. For now. But, uh... That's just what happens when you direct any sort of positivity towards the truck. It just it just takes a big old steaming shit on your happiness. So let's get back to it. It's the wrong damn size. See if three quarter works on this. Oh come on. Don't you fall. Oh great. Now I gotta get my stupid magnet. Okay, we're back to the 13 sixteenths. We're just gonna try it right there. Whatever. This is, this is pissing me off. Oh, come on. What? What is this metric? I would not doubt it. This is stupid. Well, good luck getting that off. It's gonna be fun. This project started out so good. Yep. Doesn't want to go again. I had it with this. So we finally busted it off. We had to go through some pretty ridiculous measures. Had to get this cheater pipe. Had to get two extensions. Had to get my 13 16 piece I bought from Lowe's. And uh, just keep torquing it till it finally busted loose. I kept wanting to slip off, but I just kept turning it. And uh, it eventually busted loose. What a pain in the ass. It's hard getting it uh, to come back off of there because it gets stuck on there. You gotta take everything apart. There it goes. Now we gotta find somewhere else to put it over here. Right there will work. And let's see if that'll turn it a little more. Yes, sir. She's pretty loose now. Let's see if I can get that with my hand. Oh, yeah. The promised land. Almost. Duo! Duo! Uh, fool. Boy, that is, even with it loose, it is still hard to get. Crap keeps getting in my way. These lines, she's almost there. Come on. Uh. No, don't you fall down in there. There it is. We uh, got her over here on the table. We're gonna get her cleaned up before I stick those O-rings back in. I'm gonna use this Lucas and, oh, well, that ain't good. I'm all sitting on here talking about how good Lucas is, and look at that. And then we're going to use this drawer, make a little... Damn it, that thing keeps coming off. Whatever. We'll do this. That can ain't no good anymore anyway, so... Hey, we'll stick this in there while we're spraying it. Flick her on the other side. Oh, this can. <coughs> oh, man. That was a good... There. Yeah. Yeah. 
That looks pretty good. So now before you take these rings off here, you kind of want to compare them to these new rings just to kind of make sure that they're the right size. That looks like that's about the right size. And then there's one that goes in there. Kind of compare it next to this one. It looks pretty close to me. We'll pull them out. Get this little pick I got. Kind of roll it on off of there. You can even twist it. There it is. I don't know if that's the source of our problem. That ring looks pretty good, but we'll find out when we get it put back on there, I guess, the new one. I don't see like any tear marks on it. Although sometimes with these rings, there's more than meets the eye. And uh, who knows? It could have been one of the other ones, one of these little ones. I don't know. Let's pick these out. There's that one. There's that one. So now let's kind of just, just kind of clean this up on the inside, just gently. It's pretty clean already, really. Just want to make sure there's not anything stuck in there. Try to get some paper towel on the inside of that. It's pretty clean. So we're going to wait till we get this part back on there until we put on the rings for this and this, but we will put it on for this one right now. Just kind of roll it. There it is. So here's the side that the T goes on. Let's go ahead and clean that up a little. Now let's screw this bad boy back on here. Golly. Well, that was smart. I'm going in the wrong hole. Now I gotta clean these threads up again. I pulled one of my dad's stunts right there. All right, she's all cleaned up. Kind of hard to get started. I'm gonna definitely make sure you don't cross thread this. She's almost there. It's pretty close. Flashlight. There it is. So now let's get these lightings on. Kind of clean that off because that's the that right there. That's what the O-ring sets up against. Twist this back on there. This is gonna be difficult. I think this might need to go just a hair more. There we go that line a little easier to put on too oh wait that made it harder to put on that wasn't smart let's loosen it a little of course it doesn't want to go now oh my gosh <laughs> no crap here we go again i knew these were going to be difficult to put back on Nowhere near where I need it. Here's the O-ring. Put it on the back side. You can feel it when it's in there. There we go. I'm having problems with it because I gotta like lift up on it while I'm turning it. And that is difficult because this line is so stiff. Okay, it's on there now, I think. Let's hope. strip it nope i don't think it's on there feels like it i can't hardly see back there that's the problem no it shouldn't be that hard to turn oh, why are you doing me like this hmm? okay we finally got started this time If there's any doubt that you 
that something might be stripped whenever you're putting it on just stop right where you're at take it back off restart i've stripped too many things just by thinking oh huh. that's good and it wasn't <clears throat> got it pretty far <clears throat> get real good leverage on that so we're gonna hit it with this bar not very hard it's just so I can get some leverage on it don't need much all right that side's finished up well I believe that is it guys we'll get her cleaned up a little bit get all the oil cleaned off of this oil filter that way we can tell if it's still leaking because that's where the, the oil was leaking from it came down from the housing down to the bottom of the fuel or the um, oil filter and it only happened whenever I was driving down the road so it's one of those things you can't really tell until you start driving the truck and then stop 100 200 miles down the road and just see how it looks under there all right, so we just could not get it clean under here. <coughs> Jeez. So we're going to hit it with this power washer. Hopefully this cleans her up. Well, it's been about five, maybe six days. I've driven 700 miles. So let's go ahead and crawl back under here and uh, see if this oil is still leaking. Fingers crossed. And as you can see, it is still leaking oil. So we'll get it fixed sometime in the future whenever I have to uh, do something with... I can't be too specific, guys. Anyway, this thing's listening to me. I know it sounds crazy, but I do believe in coincidences. Uh, but it's not something that really, like, it doesn't leak a whole lot of oil, so at least not. Ah, see, I shouldn't have said that. Well, anyway, guys, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You get more content on this bad boy back here. And hey, uh, if you do subscribe to my channel, if you do subscribe, uh, you will find two batteries, but you'll need three. <laughs> I mean, uh, not bad. You'll just have to run to the store, but you know, minimum pack of like 75, so. But you'll have spares. Probably won't be able to find them though. We'll see you next time.